Hi everyone, good morning all. Welcome to our session for uh, Python programming and uh, how do we create a GUI programming applications by using some of the package called Tickner package. Okay, the agenda for today's discussion is uh, we'll talk about introduction to Tickner package and uh, how do we do the installations and working on the Tickner package and uh, some of the concepts about the Tickner and how do we create, how do we do the, some of the GUI programmings by using uh, existing GA programming packaging by using IPython widgets and Tickner package. At the end, we'll talk about the Anson part. Let's start now. Uh, let's let's talk about the roadmap about this Python certification course. So this program consists of the eight different modules. Let's talk about each and every modules. In module one, we can talk about introduction to Python programming. So as part of this module one, we're going to cover uh, Python introductions, why we're choosing the Python programming, as well as uh, why, what is the, how do we create operators, variables, expressions, conditional statement, looping operations, all the Python programming concepts, followed by Anson's. In module two, we're gonna talk about uh, how do we create a sequences, different types of sequences in Python and how do we perform the file level operations, the different file level operations and best practices, how we can open the file with the with open mode. In module three, we're gonna talk about deep dive into functions. What are the functions? How do we create a functions in Python? And how do we use the predefined functions available in Python? What are the commonly used reusable functions? And how do we pass the different argument to the functions? all the complete programming of the function concepts. So function predominantly we're using for the reusability purpose. And then we're going to talk about OOPS concepts, object oriented programming concepts, how do we implement in the Python programming. In module four, we're going to talk about how do we create a modules and what is the modules in Python and how do we create a user defined modules and how do we use some of the predefined modules in Python. And how do we handle the exceptions? with the different exception blocks of code. So exception handling is very much important concepts in uh, any programming language, but uh, in Python, how we can handle this, how do we capture the exceptions? How do we uh, give our customized message, error message by using exception handling sections? Module five, we are moving towards the data analysis and how do we perform the data analysis by using different packagings called numpy pandas and matplotlib in module 5 predominantly we are going to use the numpy package for the numerical operations and how do we create an array how do we create and perform different array operations and what is uh, some of the scientific level operations by using numpy package how do we create a matrix multiplications and how do we create a matrix how do we perform dot operations for all the numerical level operations we are performing by using numpy package. In module six, we are moving towards the data manipulations by using pandas. So data manipulations, how do we modify the data and how do we uh, perform join operations, grouping operations, and how do we do the uh, tabular format data and how do we basically for the data manipulation operation, how we can do the DML operations in by using Pandas package. In module seven, we are talking about how to create the data visualizations by using matplotlib. How do we present our data in the graphical format? Okay, so these three are the very important packages in uh, uh, data analysis, NumPy, Pandas, and matplotlib to do the complete data analysis and the data manipulation part and the data visualizations. So in module eight, we are going to talk about how do we create the GUI programming, the graphical user interface programming by using Python predefined packaging by using either IPython widgets and Tickler package, right? A lot of uh, other packages are there, Plotly, right? How do we create a GUI applications? So I would say for module one to module eight will be instructor lead live sessions. Module nine and 10 is for the self-paced course. So how do we perform the web map applications? How do we plot the web maps? In module 10, we're gonna talk about the open CV and the, uh, some of the visualization by using bucket package. So these two, module nine and 10 is for the self-paced course. 
once we complete for the complete uh, case studies hands on everything you will get certification from media recom so as i told you this is the certification is recognized by multiple mnc companies this is the pretty much about complete road map if you want you can take a snippet of this uh, snippet of this road map so that feature you can go and refer it so we'll talk about what is graphical user interface right so as a human brain if you look at this simple data like the tablet format or some excel sheet it will be difficult to get some insights about it the same data if you want to see some graphical format some the pictorial format it will be easy to grab easy to get some insights about the given data set right so for to get for easy visual easy understanding and also to share the uh, insights to the business people we are going to create a graphical part of it the data visualization as a graphical part so what is g everyone knows it's a graphical user interface it is a desktop based applications so we can create by using gui we can perform multiple things text editor we can go and create and gaming applications a lot of uh, add on applications right so these are the gui things mainly we are going to interact with our computers it is predominantly it is going to very easy to interact with the computers instead of the command line modes so next is uh, why we need a gui so as i told you it is very easy to interact with our electronic devices it just look like icon and a visual indicator okay so that's why we need a gui so instead of the command line command line means we need to know the all the commands right you have to go to either c prompt or dollar prompt or something right so we can go and write a commands that is not user friendly so instead of that we can able to create a gui means a very uh, easy interactions to the end user perspective okay next we will talk about what are the libraries are available to create the gui applications in python okay so a lot of packages as i told you we have a kiwi qt wx python tickner and we have a i python widgets predominantly for jupyter notebooks right so so a lot of packages are available so depending on our business needs so we have to go and choose the corresponding libraries so basically we have to install those library in our corresponding python software so next is what is tickner so tickner is a python based gui applications it was predominantly for working for object oriented concepts so what is object oriented everyone knows we are going to create a classes that is called the blueprint right so this is a tk is a blueprint so tk is the class so under this this gui application toolkit under this we have a lot of uh, pre defined methods so we have a labels we have a uh, widgets we have a lot of uh, scroll bar uh, text box like a lot of uh, this one maybe the classes lot of methods the the class methods are available so let's see so tickler is following the object oriented programming concepts so let's talk about how do we create the window in tickler first of all we have to import the corresponding modules in our programs and then create a widgets and enter into the main events as a loop okay so let's simple one simple code right so what i'm doing here is i'm just importing the corresponding package first of all you have to import the package tickner package okay so next what i'm doing is i'm going to create the calling the methods so under this package there is a tk methods i'm just calling on it next i'm going to call the label methods so in the label methods i'm going to call the hello world so hello world i want to print it hello world i want to print it the title we know the title is a function title is a function so i'm going to display the gui title or you can give a customized title so if we do like this it is going to create a simple window nothing on it okay just to it will open the pop up window there we can get the corresponding outputs so this is for simple uh, window applications kept to create by using tickner package okay next we'll talk about what are the widgets are available in tickner what are the different widgets so before going to this widgets i will give you some quick overview about uh, the coding part okay simply so here right i'm going to use this uh, float slider widgets okay so here what i'm doing this i'm going to slide this like this right so see this one see this i'm just to uh, scrolling the 
bar right so it means it is a it is moving in the frequency in the floating point like 6.6 6.7 something like this so here what i'm doing is minimum 1 to 10 i want to have the minimum value is 1 until 10 has to do with this step will be 0 1 okay if you want to change 0 0.2 what will happen is the increment will happen with the each two ways to 3.0 3.2 3.4 something right so this is the one kind of widgets this is a float slider widget so next example could be i can go and set it up with the lower limit and an upper limit so which range of the data i'm going to take it okay so this is one kind of widgets right so widget means how do you want to see the in the geo one and how do you want to move that how do you want to scroll it like maybe lower limit uh, might be minimum maximum or do you want to step it up okay so and then toggle uh, button so next is on the toggle button so you have a different colors right so i want to have the multiple tabs here blue red green something like that, right so so this is the toggle button this one kind of widgets so like this okay how do you want to do it okay i want to have the multiple menus or something like this okay maybe class a class b class a something like this i'm going to have the multiple multiple uh, classes okay so like this we can able to create a multiple widgets so and then uh, text box multiple things maybe background color how do you what color do you want to get it right so to set the background colors color picker right and also buttons so and also tabs multiple tabs multiple tabs like how do you do it okay so this is one kind of uh, geo programming in the i python widgets in the jupyter notebook itself so next is uh, as i told you right so here in uh, google collab it's not working so basically i'm getting some environmental issues here so this one i'm going to run it on my jupyter notebook okay simple one importing the tickler package so this is suggest install install anagon distributions this package is already there okay i'm going to create labels so labels what is the uh, title i want to display okay and then what uh, text box i want to get it so let me run this in my jupyter notebook instead of having the uh, google collab environment this was just a normal window creations right so next is how do we set the labels so suppose here i want to set the some very bold color okay the size font size could be 50 so for that i can have to pass the list of arguments to my label widgets okay so this one will go into set the font which font we want to select it and what is the font size and then center align okay how do you how do you want to set the uh, pixel size everything can able to set it up and then so a lot of widgets as i talk about it combo widgets ent ent entry widgets like the drop down combo box right multiple tabs to so option box right and then this is the multiple tab one multiple this is option box either i can go to select the which type of uh, radio but i'm going to select it that one yeah and then the confirmation message so if you perform any db level operations if you do any delete or update or something right so once you click on it you have to get the pop-up message the confirmation message so how do we do it so for that show info the show info is the functions the message box the particular message box of class under this there is a show info, show info functions by using this we can go and display the this kind of output like this so like this we can create a lot of uh, messages okay so and then we can go with the images suppose i want to display some image i want to extract the uh, display some dot png file maybe a jpeg file so that's all we can able to get it by using tickler package just running now so for the first block of code any pop-up i got yeah sorry see this see this one so this might look like pop-up window so here i will get 
like uh, what is the i didn't give any header here the title right uh, the show title i didn't give any title so by default tk is coming and the hello world so whatever message the label text i'm going to give it simple one so like this a lot of other widgets as label widgets uh, toggle bar radio buttons red text box lot of widgets are there combo box so in the combo box what are the values i want to get it okay so we can go on practice uh, we can go on use lot of uh, different widgets in the thickner package okay thank you all so, uh, thanks for your time